Band on today. today. Oh. 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 Hang on. Oh. Right at the start of the video. 2004, a billion views. This is, uh, this is the, the reason by Hoobastank. Or Hey Ya. Ooh, no, no, no. It's, um... Oh, it's embarrassing, man. I should have this in one. By the way, nice quality of life. It's one, two step by Ciara. Let me hear you one, two step. Really? I only know this shit from girl talk. This is embarrassing. Okay, give me, go next, go next. No, dude, no, they're gonna know you weren't cool in 10th grade. <laughs> no, 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 no. There it is. That one stung. That was a popular song, no doubt about that. The voice, though. <laughs> Oh, stop till I have her in a birthday suit. I know what he, I, I've heard the song about a million times. So it's a fine song. I had nothing against it. Why can I only sing when I mimic KK Slider? It's kind of scary, right? How does it feel knowing you've ruined the song Riptide by Vance Joy for potentially thousands of people? Uh, well, if that makes me a monster, then what does that make Vance Joy for ruining the song for tens of millions of people? by making it in the first place. I'm gonna fuck in the rip time. I'm gonna suck on a big pipe. I'm gonna come in my mama's mouth. <laughs> That's fucking gross, dude. Why would he say that? We could always do a quick bandle. Why not? It's after hours. I don't know if these videos are making it to YouTube. 2014, 512 million views. I have no idea. Next. I gotta go like this, I gotta go like this, cause I don't want to get the MCA'd by Danny B. Cobalt, are you going through the same thing as me? I know this song, I know it, but I don't know it. know it but I don't know it just give me a second could this be the yeah yeah yes dance till heads will roll it is not heads will roll I thought that was like a given man come on come on is this uh obviously is this obviously this one is called Levels. Nope, I have no idea what this is. To be honest, I need the voice cover. Ah, oh, it's, it's Maroon 5. It's, the song is called, I'm following the maps that lead to you. The maps that lead to you. Yeah, 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 okay. All right. This Beverly Hills by Weezer. Never mind. You know what this is? Uh... Oh, it's I lock a I lock a lonely road. <laughs> yeah. All right, fair enough. It is the easiest battle of all time. If you happen to be alive in 2004, which most of you weren't, but like this shit went crazy. It's kind of cursed to like be old enough to have memories of 9-11 for a number of reasons. Like, first off, you get, like, a little traumatized by the event, for sure. 
and then culturally traumatized by the rising swell of performative American patriotism that swept the entire world afterwards. So even in Canada, we were hearing like Toby Keith, courtesy of the red, white, and blue on pop radio and the freedom fries nonsense. And then around 2004, everything became a reaction to the George W. Bush presidency. So you had to listen to Boulevard of Broken Dreams and like wake me up when September ends like a hundred times a day. We got out of it culturally at some point. I don't know what happened. The iPhone maybe. I walk alone. Me at the Mongolian barbecue restaurant. I walk alone. I walk. My shattered heart's the only thing that's breaking. I don't know. Stop, stop this, stop this. Get that out of here. Why do you have a British accent when you sing? Because I'm from the Bay Area. You're not familiar with Billy Joe Armstrong? You have sound. Okay. It's a movie from 1980. Let's be honest, we're going to need some help. Ooh! Hey. Ooh! I know this, dude. I know, I, I know it sounds crazy. I know this. Working nine to five, cause it, wait, wait, wait. I don't know the start, but I, the chorus gets me. Just give it a second. It'll break you if you let it. Yeah, yeah. Not yet, not yet. This is where it kicks in. It'll break you if you let it. Working nine to five. Yeah, yeah, Dolly Parton, nine to five. That's too easy. It's actually too easy. You think I don't know shit about Dabney Coleman, motherfucker? It'll break you if you let it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What movie was that in? I don't know. <laughs> Could be anything. Movie's called Nine to Five. Seems like a stretch to me. So they named like the movie after the song or what? Nah, man. Nah, man. It wouldn't catch me. More of like a 10 to 2 sort of guy. Good morning, Jay, by the way. Good morning. Remember when Mike Myers sang that in an Indian accent in The Love Guru? I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're going to have to be more specific. Because that is like... There's like six interludes in the movie where he does that exact same thing. So, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen The Love Guru. It's, it's worth watching if you're like unemployed because it's so bad. And then you could like text your friends while they're at work and be like, Oh my God, have you seen The Love Guru? It's horrible. It's bad enough to watch, for sure. Oh, one, 327 milli? My ass was in like grade seven. Could be a Creed song. Could be like Higher by Creed. They don't have any Creed in this bitch. Can you hear it by the way? Yes, you got it, okay. Oh, it's um, Drive by Incubus. What? No, it's not Drive by Incubus. This is... That bass, that hanging bass. Bing, that's got me. That's the... That's the ticket right there, man. What is that? Give me, give me more. Give me more. Oh, it's, it's Drops of Jupiter, man. It's Drops of Jupiter. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes, the largest planet in our solar system. Yeah, okay. And then a boing. Live in for yourself. Do you remember that truck stop, fuck shop, chicken? Your best friend always slicking up with you. Even when he knows you're wrong, can you imagine your. <laughs> said not, that's not how it goes. Why would he say that? Why would the guy from Train say that, man? Okay, quick bandle. 1989, 580 million views is real by Duran Duran. Can't wait for Nortel merch to drop. I get it. You're uh, an Atrioc viewer. Not that there's anything wrong with that. He's on my following list. We put some movie to movie together back in the day. I like the moodiness. I like the moodiness we got here. Unknown as of yet. Every rose has its thorn. I could just imagine the demon screeching over top of this. I don't believe it's Don't Stop Believing. Oh! I want to say this is a song called Right Here Waiting. Richard Marks, right here waiting. Yeah! Whatever you do, uh, na, 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 I will be right here waiting for you. Yeah! You know what's a fucking sick song, man? You ever hear Reminiscing by the Little River Band? They might have out steely Steely on that one. The cadence that the dude has, I think that song could totally come back in 2024 and go huge. Friday night, it was late, we were walking home, we came up to the gate, and I was dreaming of the night. Wanna make you understand, I'm talking about a lifetime plan. Head in hand, we were dancing, Glenn Miller's band was better than before. It's crazy, man. I'm waiting for Gen Z to discover Michael McDonald. Dude, Gen Z doesn't, they don't fuck with Michael McDonald. He did fucking come from somewhere back in her long ago. Trying hard to recreate what had yet to be created. Minute by minute. Yeah, he's a little bit like JPEG Mafia. Then the shutter falls. You've seen it all. It's your favorite foreign movie. I'm going to send you a... Uh, that's Steely Dan. That's Peg by Steely Dan. Michael McDonald was famously featured in Peg by Steely Dan, you sack of shit. You ever been forced by Steely Dan to sing Peg until your voice spews blood? <clears throat> anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Later. Bandle's free today. Oh, is it reminiscing? Friday night, it was late, I was walking you home, we came up to the gate, and I was dreaming of the night, would it turn out right? I want to tell you, girl, I want to build my world around you, and tell you that it's true. You know what I'm, oh, it's millennial coded, okay, so not Little River Band, that's more like Will Ferrell. It's such a tune. I can't, like, the dude is, it, it gives me the same feeling when I watch someone play Tekken. Like, how is, he, how is he holding the cadence perfectly when he's got so many stutter steps in it? Like, normal people, when they sing a song, 
Camp Town races, sing that song, do da, do da. This motherfucker, he's syncopating it. He's like speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down. Even J.K. Simmons is like, are you rushing or are you dragging? Friday night, it was late, I was walking you home and I was, maybe I was. This feels like Waterfalls by TLC. What a tune, though. What a tune. <laughs> I, I prefer Creep. Niagara. <laughs> I prefer Creep, but Waterfalls, the, the beat of Waterfalls is iconic. It's a vibe. It's atmospheric, for sure. What the heck is this ad, man? I would love to hear the whole thing. I would like to hear KK Slider sing Waterfalls by TLC. Thank you, Werner. Very cool. It's so fucking funny that Werner Herzog, as a director, always makes shit that's like going to the core of the human condition. Here are some motherfuckers that choose to live in Antarctica to catch a glimpse of life in such a lifeless tundra gives us insight into the human spirit. And then Werner Herzog as an actor is like, <laughs> We must stop Jack Reacher before he reaches our hideouts. <laughs> Did you bring Baby Yoda to my Sith Tavern? It's so fucking funny. It's so real though, man. Well, what have I done? I've zoomed in. That looks better though. That looks right. Like as an artist, he's like... Um, it is a little tilted, but as an artist, he's like, um, you know, interested in the core of the human spirit. And as an actor, he's like, that looks like fun. Let's do that. Why not? I don't think he's just paying the bills. Like, I think he's got choices and he's choosing Star Wars and Jack Reacher. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Um, it, it's this. It's, it, how is this not the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song? I thought it was the A-team theme, but <laughs> well, like the new one. There's, how is this not the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song? The drums are fucking... Hey, I hear it. I can hear it with the French horn. I think it's Pirates of the Caribbean, man. It might be. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> I thought this shit was by Hans Zimmer, man. No! Klaus Badelt? That's Klaus Badelt, brother. Oh, dude, once you get to the strings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, don't you, don't you can't play this. You can't play it. It's too close to the original. It's too close. You're right. You're right. That is oh, like exactly my God. the original. They don't play that shit on the ride, man. Uh, they don't? They don't. I mean, well, the ride's not really that, like, cinematic, to be they honest. Play, uh, excuse me? <laughs> well, I meant, like, in, a, in like an epic sense. Like, I don't know. I, I wrote it when I was a kid, man. It was just a bunch of pirates hanging out. There wasn't no Jack Sparrow or nothing. The movie didn't exist when I wrote it. Yeah, it's true. You have, like, a little drop, and then, depending on the where you're at, you might have a second drop, and then pretty much you just watch, like, animatronic puppets shoot each other. For like yeah, 20 minutes. They, they try to get the keys from the dog. Yo, and it turns oh, out. Yo, and then, oh, a pirate's life for me. Oh, that's a fucking helicopter. I, I was so scary. I was like, what was that, man? 2015, 1.4 billion views. Never heard of this in my life, to be honest with you. Plus the toilet paper targeted ad, like that's, that's very disrespectful. <laughs> oh, they were really cooking with this one, huh? Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> weakened. Can't feel my face when I'm with you. But he loves it. But he loves it, man. 2007 with 581 million views. This is like uh, the 10 things I hate about you by Miley Cyrus. Seven things I hate about you. Skip me. Fake Ramones. Ah, it's um, The Strokes, uh, Reptilia. No, no, wait, it's, it's uh, The Pretender by The Foo Fighters. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. So it, it sounded like Reptilia, man. Seem impressed by the way you came in. Tell us your story. I know you're not boring. That not at all. Not even slightly. Honestly, you might be ear blind. You might want to see an audiologist for that. Also, you got to keep in mind, I stopped listening to the Foo Fighters in like 2002 because that's when I developed my own independent musical tastes and, you know, shrugged off the yolk of rock radio. Like in 2007, let me see, what was I listening to in 2007? I was listening to a shitload of Sound of Silver and Joanna Newsom's East this year, okay? I was, I was balling out the East. I was not fucking that much. With, I was excited for We Were Dead before the ship even sank. And then when it came out, I was like, they're cooked. They're cooked. They've gone mainstream, people. We were not listening to Wincing the Night Away. We were listening to a lot of Sound of Silver in 07, for sure. Person pitch me. Is that an 07? Goodness is having courage. The courage to do what's right. Good time. Good time. Good time. I know what you're talking. Islands? I was more of an 05 for me. I was fucking with, well, maybe it was 06, but I was fucking with, um, with Rough Gem and um, Don't Worry Whitney Bobby or whatever it's called. I was fucking with Islands. I was fucking with the Unicorns. That was back in the day, though. You never experienced Peak My Chemical Romance? Yes, by choice. By choice, people. By choice. Got it. I like. I wasn't there. I got to imagine that song hits like crazy, like right before your Little League World Series game. You don't realize that fucking Team Florida is also listening to the same song. <laughs> this is my pop up song. <laughs> Bandle today, extraordinarily easy. Okay, one second. One second. Nineteen ninety five. I mean, I, I know the chords for sure, but I feel like maybe 50 songs have this chord progression. It almost sounds like a little, like a little no doubt. Give me the guitar. Ooh. Oh, it's Wonderwall. It's not no doubt at all. Yeah, it's Wonderwall. We got it in two. Wait, we need the we need the part where KK Slider goes. Look down and be the toilet that's skibbity. Blue Album Son or Pinkerton Daughter? I think we had this exact, and I don't mean like a, a symbolically similar question. I think we had literally the exact same question like six weeks ago. And I, uh, my position has not changed. 
Pinkerton daughter is a weird combination. That's like having a daughter who's a male incel. And this is coming from what I would describe as perhaps one of the ultimate Pinkerton respecters out there. I think you can certainly enjoy that album without being an incel. But it is a strange energy. Like having an 18-year-old daughter who's really into Pinkerton is just a little unusual. <laughs> Released at O2, 1.3 billion views, very hard. It's Nickelback. I don't think there's any other plausibility. Ooh. Hey, girl, when you shake my hand, I'm a man of menace and beans. Then my dance and my bop that cause of mama, I'm sure hard to handle now. Come around, dang, da, dang, da, dang. No, I don't know what. It, it kind of sounds, well, it's got like a little Danny California on the drum beat, but it's three or four years too early. Maybe like an island in the sun type, like eh, eh. That's like 01 though. Let me think about this. 02, 8th, 9th grade. Oh, it is. It sounds like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, man. No, no, it's uh, Like a Stone by Audio Slave. Oh, I will wait for you there. Yes, of course I know it. I was there. We get those. I'm not even going to besmirch Chris Cornell by doing the impression. Skibbity. Skib, 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 skibbity, riz. No? Okay. I left that song playing on repeat at a party for three hours. Scaring the hose type behavior, but it's not a bad song. It's not my favorite song, but it's not a bad song. <laughs> I am the hose. I think you could still scare the hose. 2014, 1.2 billion views. Usually kind of a, a bit of a blind spot for me, but I could be wrong. Dude, this hits way different in stereo. Could be like, bam, 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 bam. Yeah, 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 yeah. I recognize that way. I'm the realist. Drop the bass, let the whole place feel this. And I'm still in the murder business. I can hold you down like I'm teaching lessons in physics. You should want a bad like me. Something is fancy by Iggy Azalea featuring Charlie X. <laughs> Cup of Ace, Cup of Goose, Cup of Chris. I take the liquor straight, never chase that. Top back like we're bringing 88 back. Skirt. Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. Dude, music sounds so much better in stereo, dude. There's like a depth to this shit. There's layers to it. said maybe i do this i thought that you knew this i don't remember the rest of it but i i don't like iggy azalea really but i think this is a great song like if you're talking about slop that gets played on top 40 radio this is cream of the slop as far as i'm concerned it's a tune man heartbreaking the worst musician you've ever heard just made a really good song charlie brings it i fucking hate you disingenuous motherfuckers you can't just glaze a good song because there's like a bad artist in charge of it. You have to be like, no, actually, <laughs> actually, there's one based artist on it. That's the only reason I like it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a good song. Bro, give Iggy Azalea her flowers for one song. It's Iggy Azalea featuring Charlie XCX, okay? You don't need to find a reason to like admit that you like a tune. R. Kelly's got some jams. Fuck R. Kelly. He's got a couple of jams. He's probably got like four jams, okay? You don't have to be like, well, I don't fuck with R. Kelly, but I'm a flirt has T-Pain on it and T-Pain's, but you could be like, he made a 
he was involved in the production of a great song, okay? Now he's in prison, where I'm pretty sure he belongs. <laughs> you gotta accept it. I'm not saying you have to separate the art from the artist. I'm just saying, be honest with yourselves, man. You like the song, you don't have to be like, here's the defensible reason I like it. Just be like, damn. She, her songs are usually decoded, but they were really cooking on fancy, okay? Big fan of the Jackson 4. Yeah, but what, what Jackson are you canceling? <laughs> it could be the Jackson 5. It could be like the Jackson 2. For all I know. Janet? Come on. She wasn't even part of the Jackson 5, bro. Like, I think their dad didn't let her in or something. Like, maybe she was like negative 3 when they were popping off with ABC123. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. It's crazy that Janet Jackson sampled Ventura Highway by uh, America. I, every time I hear Ventura Highway, I just hear, maybe we'll meet at the bar. He'll drive a fancy car. Maybe we'll meet at the club and fall so deeply in love. It is a banger, though. It's got, there's some guitar work on it, without a doubt, man. Bandle's tough today? Let's see. 1983, 183 million, very hard. That's not giving us a whole lot. Oh! Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Wait, 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 hang on. The Daka tried to read his mind. But I'm frightened of the things I might find. Oh, there must be something he's thinking of to tear him away. Hey, hey. When I tell him that I'm falling in love, what does he say? It's definitely not voices carry. To, yeah, I would be surprised if that was even in the list, but. It's got a little bit of. Ooh, wait, 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 hang on. I know this. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know this. I know it's so cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me all your loving. ZZ Top. Ooh. <laughs> I knew I just needed the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not that hard if you grew up listening to the rock radio for like four hours a day as a kid. Ooh. Every single one of your hugs and kisses, too. That's the, the defining moment right there. American rock really wasn't that great, huh? You disingenuous motherfuckers make me look like such an America file when you just tell lies the greatest rock nation in the world. They probably lapped the second best country by like four fucking X. I'm not even American. I fucking hate ZZ Top for the record. <laughs> England, they got like 18 good rock bands. That's really good. Don't get me wrong, but the US has like 200 good rock bands, man. It's hard to compete. It's like the Olympics, man. They just got a lot of money and a huge population. I'm sorry. It's just it's the way of the world, man. Per capita? I don't fucking know per capita. Maybe there's like a, an act in San Marino that fucking shreds, okay? It's not really... Per capita is like the last bastion of the disingenuous. We're talking about shit you can actually like measure. I don't give a shit if there's like one great guitarist in Liechtenstein. I'm talking about like shit that'll actually affect me in real life. What's your beef with ZZ Top? Every song sounds the same, basically. It's like 58-year-old accountant just bought a Harley Davidson music. How, 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 how? 
What's wrong with that? I mean, like one song is okay, but if someone said like, do you want to put on his easy top album? I would be like, what's wrong with you, man? That's literally all American rock. This motherfucker's never heard of Vampire Weekend. Anyway, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be back and play something else. 2006. This is an era where I was not listening to the radio because I was binge drinking in the dorms. By the way, do as I say, not as I do. Don't do that. But I was still kind of tuned in a little bit. I mean, the drums aren't giving me too much. I'm almost feeling like, am I crazy to think that this could be two, three, one. I don't think so. I think it's too slow. I think it's too slow. Strings too, huh? Okay, okay, okay. What a dour little chord change. Oh, steady as she goes by the raconteurs. Oh, they don't have it. Okay, next. That's very familiar. That's crazy by Gnarls Barkley. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy by Gnarls Barkley. Okay, that's that's a gimme. <laughs> Nope, nope, you screwed it up. You knew, and listen, Bandel, I love you. You might be the greatest of all the dulls, and you always bring something new to the table, and I always appreciate it, okay? Anytime you get the temptation to run the flute codec instead of the KK slider codec, I want you to have a poster on your bulletin board that says do not use the flute. It's always KK slider. That's it. And that's that's a it's a great beat. You can see why it got like a, a billion views. I know what you say 309 million, but if you weren't fucking with this in like 2006, you weren't you were probably like two years old. This was everywhere, man. I was literally six. St. Elsewhere had some slappers. I was definitely listening to St. Elsewhere summer, summer 06. A lot of islands. Happy Swag Thursday to you as well, Frost Prime. Happy Swag Thursday. This is, this is probably listening to a lot of Graceland by Paul Simon as well. But like that hasn't changed in the intervening 18 years, to be honest with you. I wasn't even born yet. That's fucking crazy, dude. This is the year like I started college. <laughs> That's crazy. <clears throat> anyway, it's crazy they didn't use the KK Slider codec because CeeLo Green is kind of like a, he's got a KK Slider type vibe to him to begin with. Like he basically, you could just pick him up and put him in Animal, animal Crossing and you'd be like, welcome to the fucking village, bro. You know what I'm saying? Type of shit? <laughs> it's like a pretty... I thought... You know, I don't hear the, my voice the same way you hear it. I hear it like through the bones in my head and stuff like that. But that sounded like a fucking kind of sick Animal Crossing impression, to be honest. Three, two, on one, go. Oh, yeah. This, this... I feel like I should know it just off the drum. Pick it up. 19 million, huh? Well, it's probably, this is old. It's 40 years old. Oh, I just, what, it stops? That's going to be the, like, the, 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 the bass is going to do like something this. there. Fuck, it's not that band. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't know what it is on one. I'm going to two. Same. Oh, I love that. Do He's I grooving. love that? He's grooving. Give me, give me a chord change, though. Yep. I don't got it. I don't got it on two either. I 
I don't got it. I thought it was Highway to Hell because of that break, and it went. Bah, bah, bah. Ah, wait, I thought it was that, but it wasn't that. Oh, I, I yeah, I do know it. I, it's. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I do. It turns out I do know it. <laughs> uh, wait. What's, what's the name of the? What is the name of? I dare, I got it in oh. three. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Uh, I, I, I do want to say I, it's from, uh, it has a popcorn bucket next to it. It's a movie, but that okay. just means, it's any movie from the 80s. They all have these songs. This Why might, I, not... I, I hate to give you more. I would be surprised if this wasn't in Dan Giesling's top oh, no. three to five movies all time. Ooh. The problem is the beginning makes me, I thought it was, just but it's not bad. And then the second part is totally different, throwing me off. He's cooking. And then... Oh, that guitar. The, 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 uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go next. I have to, I have to hear them sing. Oh, the... Oh, no! It, I mean, I know the band now. Uh, not, not, it's, it's fucking, <laughs> yeah, God damn it. Do you ever I see needed... the clip of, um, all the celebrities singing, we are the world and Michael Jackson uh, lays down like the craziest vocal line of all time. Yeah. And then Huey Lewis comes up next and just like <laughs> totally botches it. And Michael Jackson gives him the side eye. I've seen it. I've seen it. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, look, people are, they have different singing talents for different areas, you know? Power Love's a good song. I got nothing against Huey Lewis. But he's not, he's, he's not a vocalist. He's no Michael Jackson, he's not but a in, in all the ways, but 1981, 178 million views. This one does not appear to be indie, but that's okay. Ooh. This, to me, this sounds like Raspberry Beret by Prince. Oh, really? I was just, I could hear the. I thought for sure that was it. Oh, okay, this, this is familiar. Very familiar. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's um. Give me, give me a second. I, movie about the 80s dance coded. The, this is the dance that makes the second act of the movie or something. Maybe not. I don't know. I think I need more. <clears throat> yeah, I think I need more. It's it's right on the tip of my tongue. It's right on the tip of my brain. It's got a little like the police type beat to it, but. It's, it's, it's right there. Sing it to me. Need you tonight? Maybe I've never heard this before in my entire life. It sounds like a fucking Bob, though. Betty Davis eyes, Miss Davis gaze, Betty Davis eyes. <laughs> That's right, Miss Davis gaze. 
Her hands are never cold. She's got Betty and she teases and she pleases. Yeah, I know. I know this, man. To be honest with you, I think I've only heard this song. This was like a go-to karaoke song um, for somebody that I worked with in South Korea. And it was a vibe. When you're like six bottles of soju deep and you've been at Noribong for like three hours and then she busts out the phlegmy Betty Davis eyes. Her lips sweet surprise. Do, 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 do. Her hands are never cold. She's got Betty Davis. Do, 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 do. Anyway. We keep the streak alive, at least. Miss Davis Gaze. I do love hearing people scream and sing when extremely drunk. I swear to you, and this is like, people are like, you don't know how to sing. That's true. I know so little how to sing that I don't even know how to sing badly the same way, day to day. I swear to you, one time, was intoxicated, but I sang Born to Run by Bruce Springsteen at uh, karaoke in South Korea. And everybody was like, I thought you sucked ass at singing, but you fucking killed it that time. Week later, went back, sang Born to Run by Bruce Springsteen. Couldn't find the notes at all. I was, the hours, heavy powered drones screamed down the boulevard. And everyone was like, what happened? I, was like, I don't know, man. I guess like I, sometimes you just hit the, the drunkenness like QTE and you get like all, all the quick time events get nailed in that like dead by daylight the little sliver and sometimes you you undershoot it or more likely you overshoot it and then it's uh it, you just can't find it again man you were touched by the spirit of bacchus true man true that's damn true 2013 i i may not know it but it does have a billion views but it is also very hard let's see peloton coded Is keep breathing. Keep breathing. Keep, keep breathing. And I, oh, you cut me open when I. Is this Ellie Golding? Key? Is this good? Maybe this is called Burn. Okay, maybe I don't know it at all. One, two, the three, to the three, to the four. Unknown. Chain smokers type beat. Chain smokers. Don't let me down featuring Daya, non dairy cheese. I have no idea. Oh, in love with the monster inside of my do 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 do. Yeah, <laughs> I I did need number five for that one, but yeah, yeah, I know that one. Oh man, I didn't recognize it until five. Well, like no disrespect, I'm not even saying it's a bad song, even though it's not my tempo. But like the background music is very like royalty free you know, rock and roll night at the craft beer bar sauna. Like there's not a whole lot going there. If you're if you're into this song, I guess you're into it for Rihanna and Eminem. Eminem and Lil Way What? You don't know that one? That's Jeff Bridges on Saturday Night Live. 2017, 1.3 billion views. This is fucked, man. It's got to be Despacito. Oh. I'm loving the beat, man. Maybe? Should I admit that before I know what it is? This shit sounds like, baby, if you want me, you got to show me love. I know the chords. I don't know this. I need more. Same fucking dupl duplicate the melody with every instrument. Real original. That's that's the hook right there.
It's so familiar. Is it possible that you're like a Coldplay jam? <laughs> I have no idea what they're cooking up, man. I, God is my witness. I don't believe I've ever heard this. Beethoven composed the fifth symphony. Clean Bandit Symphony featuring Zara Larson. God is my witness. Is a, they made this up. How did you get it? Well, the clue gave us the word. And then all the other ones were like hard rock or foreign. <laughs> So the, I picked the only one that made any sense. Yeah, this is a psyop. What the what the hell is Clean Bandit? Who is Zara Larson? And what did this this song was made up yesterday? This has never existed. This is my Berenstein Bears moment. I hear it at work seven times a day. What's the song? Uh, if you work retail, or have in the past, what's the song that played the most at your job that made you want to blank yourself? I think if I worked retail in like the mid 2010s, I might not be here today if I had to work at a place where like 12 times a day they played like, he said, don't you dare hold back. Just put your eyes on me. He said, you're holding back. I said, shut up and dance with me. Happy? I could see that. <laughs> Drop, drops of Jupiter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan dance Monkey also pisses me off, but it's cute because my daughter likes it and my... My mom likes to play it for my daughter and then they dance. But like, whenever I have that shit like come on in an environment, I'm getting out as soon as possible. Christmas music? Yeah, I can understand that. I don't, I, you know, I like the holiday season more than I used to, but it's still like, they're still rocking like the same 15 Christmas songs for like an entire month of the year, which is crazy. Thoughts on Riptide? Definitely, uh, song that would have made me like be less happy at work or something if i had if i worked retail when that happened i'm trying to think of what was on the, oh you know what i i do have the misfortune of having worked retail adjacent like i was in the the donations department at goodwill which is right next to the store when um all summer long by kid rock came out and if you weren't i mean let me just Start like this. What are we doing here, guys? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing with this guy. Zeth Infer... How did I end up with Infernus, man? What's, what does what this guy even do, dude? Um, I, uh, I had to hear All Summer Long by uh, Kid Rock all summer long. Like that, if you weren't there in 2007, that was on rock stations. It was on country stations. It was everywhere. We were drinking 40 things. We were smoking 50 things. Party rock anthem. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to know that. I know. I know it, dude. Okay. I know. I know it. the way it hangs for an extra half measure like you expect it to go up earlier but I know, I'm gonna know it just give me a second I want to say this is one direction maybe not next It's so familiar, dude. Is 
Is it Katy Perry? It's, it's that phrase! Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, raise your glass. Anything but do. do, 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 do. Perfect. Da, 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 da. Pink, raise your glass. Yeah, okay. I don't fuck with pink. I think pink is. Well, listen, I know she's a very talented artist. She puts on a good show. I don't really fuck with, the, with the, the, any of the art she's ever put out with, but that's okay. Keep, keep doing it. Keep, keep, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going, okay? My mom loves your music. I'm sure she does. <clears throat> yeah it's not i mean it's not for me that's okay though we get that i knew it was peloton coded don't insult women everywhere by saying that i'm gonna lose female viewers by insulting pink i think female viewers they're gonna listen to some stuff that is a little bit more artful than pink they could at least be listening to Annie or something like that, you know? Or maybe like Robin. <laughs> Japanese breakfast or something? Yeah. Exactly. Regina Spector? Well, if you work at like a used bookstore, sure, there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, now, what? <laughs> what? Are you telling me that every time I walk into a used bookstore, they don't have like fucking Regina Spector playing or like um, Rasputina or something? Come on, man. Fucking Damn, I Wish I Was Your Lover by Sophie B. Hawkins. Why do you think I go into them so much? Just stop. <laughs> the Andy DeFranco bookstore. I'm, I could, you know, because they don't play that shit on Amazon. That's how you know I'd be going into the store. The kinds of store, you, you take a book up to the cash register, the cashier just kind of eyeballs it and says, like, how does eight bucks sound? No price tag on that shit or anything. We're buying book, books from the fucking anarchist book fair in this bitch. Then the bag is two bucks. Don't you hate it when you go to McDonald's and then they say, do you want to pay 25 cents for a bag? No, I want you to just pour the fries into my fucking hand. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not. I'm sorry, I'm turning into Dennis Leary a little bit. Hey, Ginger Nut 619 thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. Can you try playing ranked Call of Duty someday? I think it'd be funny. No. You can free yourself from the yoke of believing that that shit's ever going to come to pass in this world or any other in which I have any agency whatsoever. I'm a fucking uh, Chrome man. I'm too sexy, right, said Fred. No? Okay. Good vibrations, Mark Wahlberg. Not the Beach Boys? Okay. Next. Some Janet Jackson. Sounds like an ice cream commercial. Just can't get enough. Depeche Mode live in Hammersmith 2018 remaster. Just can't get enough. <laughs> I know for sure. <laughs> Oh! It doesn't matter if you're black or white. Dunk -a -dunk -a -dunk -dunk. Yeah, okay, okay. That's right. That is like peak hee hee, isn't it? It's that dig -a -dig -a ding ding. Oh, you gotta hear the vocals, of course. 
Put him in a dream museum. If you wanna be my baby, just put away your DDT. Yeah. Ooh. All right, all right. Michael Jackson's pronouns were he, he. You know what? <laughs> They say you can't make a pronouns joke in the modern era, but look at you. You've gone and done it. Good old-fashioned, wholesome <laughs> Michael Jackson pronouns joke. It's a plus two. It makes you laugh, and it also makes you think, and it illuminates what divides us, and in doing so, it brings us closer together. That's amazing. You're a, you're a, a damn... You're speaking from the ephemera. What a beautiful thought. No thanks. No thanks, I don't, I don't want to give 12 points to Bandle's Eurovision Song Pack. 1985, here we go. Is this some kind of wonderful? I don't know it immediately, let me see what we got. I must be stupid, man. I must be stupid. Wait, the game started in seven seconds! Oh, it's everybody wants to rule the world. Never, never need it. Everybody wants to rule the. What a great. That's that's an all timer for sure. What is this build that had me level my one first? Oh wait, maybe that's normal. I'm pocket. What's got that slash marker? Today's bandle rocked me. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look here. Today's bandle rocked me. Oh, no, it's gonna, it's gonna knock me too, man. 2018, half a billion views. I'm uh, happy to report to you, by the way. I restarted my PC and my camera still worked. And I got the extra Sony A6400 still sitting in its box, waiting for like, oh, waiting for the day. When people go, your camera broke? You're a, you're a professional business. You're a, a numbered LLC. You should really have a piece of backup equipment. And then I have a piece of backup equipment and they have to cry. Well, you should have installed it earlier, probably. If it was what I would have done if I were in your shoes. I'm wearing size 13s, brother. Don't flatter yourself. It's impossible to tell from, from this drum beat for me. Twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Two zero one eight. Six years behind me. Okay, what's next? Synth me. Only thing I could think out or think of, maybe it's stressed out by twenty one pilots. To the good old days when my mama put us to sleep and now we're stressed out. <laughs> yeah, no, okay, whoa, 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 okay. Oh, it's, it, it sounds like it's by the weekend. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's not those. Maybe it's blinding lights. Every constellations. All the stars. Kendrick Lamar, all the stars featuring SZA. All right, there we go. I got <laughs> we get those seven out of seven found on on Firefox. I've heard I've definitely heard this hook, man. Like I've heard that. It made you cry? The song didn't make me cry, the movie made me cry. Because Black Panther 
at the end of the movie, he like, he, he patched up the legacy that his father made that led to the creation of Killmonger in the first place. It would have been easy for him to just smoke Killmonger and be like, I'm the best, I'm the king of Wakanda. But instead he said, you know what? I see that the villain actually had like a little bit of a justifiable reason to be upset. So he went back to right the wrongs of the previous generation, okay? That's why, that's why I cried at the end of Black Panther. It wasn't because of Kendrick Lamar featuring SZA, all the stars. Songs of Bop? I don't know. There's like, I would say from 2013 to 2000 and like now, I basically know like no songs that were on the radio. If the only way that they were known was on the radio. Now, there was like a period of like two years where I, I learned some because I was doing the Peloton classes and the classes were playing modern music. So occasionally, that's how I'm familiar with, um, you know, Lavender Haze by Taylor Swift. That's how I'm familiar with, I don't know, Countdown by Beyonce and stuff like that. That's not how I became familiar with Fugazi, but Better Place by NSYNC Trolls. The fucked up thing is I can't even listen to that one because she doesn't, she doesn't like the new Trolls movie. She only likes the first two. So anytime they put on the NSYNC songs from... Trolls, she's like put on They Don't Know by Ariana Grande. But actually, she's kind of fucking with, uh, with Hot To Go right now. And that's a fun song. So at least like in between all the Trolls music, occasionally I get some like H-O-T-T-O-B-G-O. I can't spell, just for the record. Do the dance. I don't know the dance. I've never seen, I've never seen the video. I've only... Um, I've only heard the song on Amazon Music, which barely works. They tell you how to do it in the song. Yeah, usually when I'm like listening to music with my daughter, I'm like giving her a bath. So I'm just trying to like, why do you do this to yourself? <laughs> or driving. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm not putting, I'm not going to fucking Spotify.com in my web browser and typing in hot to go and then posting up in front of my desktop computer doing the dance. Are you fucking crazy? I'm 35 years old. <laughs> no, I don't watch Wizards of Waverly Place. I'm an adult. Oh. You don't want condescending answers. Well, then don't write fucking insane sentences, man. I don't know what you want me to say. I don't know what you want me to say. 1981, 89 million. Let's hear it for the boy from the Footloose soundtrack. No, it would have popcorn. I don't even have it. Raspberry Beret by Prince. I don't think it is, but you gotta, it's a reasonable guess. Oh. Yeah, Just Can't Get Enough by Depeche Mode. Yeah, 100%. You can't, you can't imitate that bass. That's a given. Yeah, they did a pretty good job with this one, man. This is every 80s song. Obviously, you've never heard Burning 2 by Fugazi. So in 2015, 1.8 billion views. This is the definition of my life. Lying in bed in the sunlight, choking on the velvet apple, long together with the hope of saving you, in the hope of saving you. Nothing? 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 There's no drums? There's no ensemble and synth. I know you're like, it's too quiet. It's too quiet for me, too. It's because there's no, there's no track. Is it broken? Is it broken? Is Bandle broken today, or is this... Wait, wait. That's, that's, um... Is this not cheerleaders? Wait, no, um... I know this. Mm. 
Cheerleader. I really thought that was it. <clears throat> I'm gonna know it. I've heard it in the in the produce aisle. <laughs> I can't listen to this bullshit anymore, man. Just take me to the backing vocals, maybe. Double KK slider kind of blessed though. Hey, you look that much, then baby, you should go and love yourself. Yeah, I know this one. <laughs> we didn't even need number six for this. I don't. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. You should go and love yourself. Now! <laughs> Fake Canadian? I don't fuck with Justin Bieber, bro. I'll be listening to different shit in the car. I'll be listening to fucking Howl Dottie and shit, okay? There's a lot of Canadian garbage out there. I think vitamin C is Canadian. Does your daughter fuck with Close to the Edge by Yes? Not yet. She always, anytime, <clears throat> anytime I get in the car, she always tells me to play Trolls songs. I'm not even joking. She says uh, daddy's songs rock too hard, which is like if I was like in Gen X, that would be a huge compliment. But instead, I'm just like, all right, let's put it. We should listen to Prozac, man. Prozac is like trolls meets Canadian pop music. Oh, I'm Paula Shure. Oh, really? The dude's from like fucking Burlington or something. I don't know why he sounds like that. I was drowning in a wave of ecstasy, su su tsunami. Just when we think the worst is past, she still rises up to destroy me. He knows Prozac? Of course, man. I got the hot show for like uh, my birthday in the fifth grade. Sound is on, okay. It sounds like it's Highway to the Danger Zone from Top Gun or something. They don't even have it. Easy par one? Well, I'm, I'm hitting the bogey at minimum. Is this time after time? Oh, that's a done wine. No, 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 it's, uh, uh, that's it, right? <laughs> Some Back to the Future song. I should know it. I've probably heard it on the radio a thousand times. Material? Is this material, girl? Yes, it's material. Okay. <laughs> I was like, dude, I'm so did she steal the, the bass line from Time After Time by Cyndi Lauper? Mm -hmm. The second hand unwinds. If you not, you can live, then you will find this. Time after time. We are living in a material world. We are look. It's got a fucking There's something to it for sure. She likes expensive things. Apollo's ass typing in rich girl and then chat getting mad at him and then he has to say he doesn't know any Madonna songs. Alright, that's pretty terrible. You know? I don't know if I've ever heard a Madonna song. 
Madonna the person? I, I don't know her. I could take her or leave her. Madonna the artist? Revolutionary. Two or three eras where she was uh, top of the pops after reinventing herself. You got 80s Madonna. You know, she comes out as like a, a very mindful, very demure pop princess. We put some respect on some songs from that era. She comes back in the 90s as a, a sex positive diva icon. We put some respect on that era. She comes back in the late 90s, 2000s as like a, a reborn spiritual Andrew. We put some respect on Ray of Light. We put some respect on Frozen. She comes back in 2005, 2006, says, guess what? Now I'm a, I'm a dance producer. And we put some respect on Hung Up, man. We put some respect on Oh, but that's just because of the ABBA sample. Put some respect on, on female artists, okay? That's ABBA. Everybody's anti-sampling when Madonna's best song has a sample in it. Okay. But everyone's extremely pro-sampling when fucking girl talk comes on in the Discord shared VC. I get it. Whoa, the Sonic the Hedgehog sample in this song goes, Sonic the Hedgehog mixed with Notorious B.I.G. This goes crazy. Oh, so hung up? That's mostly, I'd say personally ABBA's actually carrying that one. Disingenuous motherfucker. I see right through you, you misogynist. 2024, she's overstayed her welcome, though. Okay, fuck you, buddy. You get one life on planet Earth. Give her a chance, okay? Oh, I'm sick of seeing her face on TV. Okay, we'll fucking change the channel, bro. She's got to do what's right for her. Yeah, maybe it's annoying that she's old and that offends you for some reason. But, like, you know, what do you want her to do? <laughs> what do you want her to do? Hey, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. You can't hear this. Now you can hear it. 2018 is a part of a film franchise, apparently. 576 million views. Okay, so it's a movie I probably haven't seen and a song I maybe haven't heard. But it is apparently in the rock genre. There's a chance, but we're not, we're not getting it on one. This just sounds like Beverly Hills. Two, three, four. That's where I want to be. Bring it back up. No, they're bringing it even further down. Give the hi-hat a rest, buddy. You got other pads. I have absolutely no clue. It sounds like every rose has its thorn. No? Okay. Could this be shallow because it's from 2018? Which is probably when a star is born. Well, no, that might be from 2009. I gotta try though. Okay. Not the right song, but you have the right artist? <laughs> I've never seen a, a yellow clue before. Is it always remember us this way, a star? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Rare yellow guess, man. I've never heard this song in my life. I have heard Shallow. Shallow, I heard, um, I've never heard the studio version. I've only heard someone drunkenly singing it outside of our hotel room in Whistler in like 2021 or 2020. I've got, with God as my witness, I've never heard this song before in my life. She's fucking going for it, though. A star is fucking born. They weren't, they weren't kidding when they titled it that. You know, only shallow? Of course I know only shallow. When you were still pee, -pee in your pampers, I was training myself to like shoegaze music. That shit makes me cry. Only Shallow? 
If you're going to cry at anything on Loveless, it's probably like when you sleep, right? Anyway, sorry. Slow dive is better than My Bloody Valentine. No disrespect. Did Slow Dive write Soft as Snow but Warm Inside? No, but they wrote Allison. I'm pretty sure you'll find that's Elvis Costello, you fraud. I've literally never heard a Slow Dive song. I'm just being a hater. Vandal. Released in the year 2000. 439 million views. Easy par one. This has got to be like, uh, like Bye 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 or something. <laughs> it's just it's probably the most famous song from the year 2000 man i don't know what you want me to say <laughs> it's it's got half a billion views from the year 2000 it's got to it had to be either the backstreet boys or nsync or britney spears man that's the only option farewell 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 I'm not listening to this. I've been listening to so much the Croated NSYNC shit because my daughter only wants to hear the Trolls soundtrack. Trust me, I'm more than familiar with it. I listened to it a thousand times, probably like 3,000 times when it came out. I was 12. And then now I'm getting the echo here. They don't, they don't have Bye 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 in Trolls, but they do reference Want You Back, the superior NSYNC song. The latest Trolls movie has a boy band theme. You're, you're talking about Brozone. You got John Dory. He's the leader. He's a little bossy. You got Floyd. Floyd is the sensitive one. He's played by Troy Sivan. John Dory is played by Eric Andre. Then you got um, Spruce. Spruce was the hunk. I think he's played by David Diggs. And uh, Branch, of course, is played by Justin Timberlake. And uh, this is not a bit. These are the real, <laughs> these are the real actors. <laughs> it is a stacked cast, man. Anna Kendrick, Keenan Thompson, Justin Timberlake, Eric Andre, David Diggs, Andrew Rannells, who? Tony Award winner for the Book of Mormon. He originated the run of Brother Kevin or whatever the fuck. You know, I believe... I wonder why Anna Kendrick is back from the dead. What are you talking about? She's been doing a Trolls movie like every three years and each one of them has made like $700 million at the box office. <laughs> She's like Maya Rudolph, man. She's been making, her net worth is probably like a billion dollars and it's because she's only doing voice work in movies for like seven-year-olds. You know, she's not in the fucking, in the substance or whatever, but she's working. Good for her. What do I, what do I care, man? What do I care? Bandle. Oh, Bandle. Oh, yeah, gotta, sorry. That's not a bad one. Start, gotta start with Oh, the, were you oh, even alive when this song came out? You, you got it in one? No, but like it's from 1998 and it has 400 million views. Like I was in there, man. I mean, maybe. It says very hard though, man. This one might be tough. Oh, movie? Big movies from 1998. Why does this like... The, the barking like sound? dog barking yeah. sound effects sound so familiar. <laughs> it sounds very Nintendo. Like I'm playing Mario Paint. Okay, hit me number two. This shit is Grace 2 by the Tragically Hip. Are you hearing it, Chen? It's like a major key version of the I got sunshine in a bag. Oh, you're it's so in, right. It's in a major key instead of a minor key. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to number two. I'm already there. It didn't help. <laughs> oh, this took a turn. I feel like this could be like, um, it's like just before this. Oh, I know this. This is, um, yeah, man, this is, this is this right here. Yeah, dude, it's the, at the end of the bass track, I know exactly what it is, but you had to be there. You absolutely had oh. to be there. I also did not I, know that this came from this movie, even though I know what this movie is. I know this song, but I have no idea what it's called. <laughs> Ooh. 
He wants to vote the man. The I best mean, days sure. of my own. Just to fucking be with you. Y'all got me the best days of my Woof, woof. Uh, oh, okay. So the hint was a lot more direct <laughs> than I thought it was. <laughs> I was like, is it appreciation? Like, what is this? Uh, no, it's just, it's just, thank you. That's by Dido. Yeah, I've, I've heard that for sure. But that's, that's one of, like a lot of these like late 90s, early 2000s songs I'm going to have heard before, but not know the name of. This is everywhere. And I think it's a horrible song. I, I don't have a huge affinity for it. I was just like, yeah, that's, that's a song. It passes through your ears, into your brain wow. and out your body, like some kind of indigestible oral fiber. Uh, leaves no impact. There was no trace that it was ever there in the first place. 638 million views from 2006. What was popping off in 2006? Coldplay? Viva La Vida by Coldplay? Or Talk by Coldplay? Oh, this is um, Promiscuous by Nelly Furtado. That's the easiest. Part three? Are you kidding me? Quite, of course this was popping off in 2006. That's the, the and then, mm, promiscuous, mm, let's get to the, mm. that's iconic. And that's a gimme, that's an easy one. You're making me crazy. What were you looking for? This was the biggest song at my prom. All the words you got, and I got what you need. This is good. That is good, man. <laughs> Apollo said he'd never heard it before. I think it's possible that he's never heard it before. If he didn't ride the bus to school, in i guess it would have been in like the the eighth grade or the ninth grade because i'm sure if he was being driven to school it's all like you know i've been working on the road trying to loosen my load with a girl my lord in a drop top for to get trying to get a hold of me come on baby don't be lazy you know what i'm talking about let's take it easy by the eagles kind of a little poetic license. <laughs> that was a drop top Ford. <laughs> like a, a Mustang convertible. 1979 with 474 million views. Shit's got to be like Hotel California, man. This is Gimme, Gimme, Gimme a Man After Midnight by ABBA. Easiest bandle of all time. Also, my wife's go-to karaoke song. So true, man. Oh, and then I... Now we're talking. They knew. They knew. They stole it from the Madonna song, the Yerp, and that's why she's my queen. Madonna sample was the first time you played Bandle because Apollo failed. I feel like Apollo would know this one, right? Hand me a guy after 12 a.m. <laughs> 2022. 335 million views. And it's from a movie from two years ago. A popular movie. I feel like this is like a Highway to the Danger Zone remix from Top Gun Maverick. I know the, the chord progression. The buzzing is not helping, by the way. <laughs> I 
I got nothing. That's so familiar, man. I don't know what it is, but it's so familiar. I've heard this in a mall for sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I need. I'm not bothered. No sweat. No problem. I'm on. The hell is Acta de Munich? Why they, they got too much, man? I'm not bothered. Unbothered. <laughs> this might be it, man. This might be the end of the bandal streak. And I'm not really bothered right now. Not perturbed. No sweat. Skip me. So it was from Top Gun Maverick. One Republic, I ain't worried. <laughs> I believe I've heard the song in my life, but I could not, uh, I could not tell you it, man. It's from the beach scene. I haven't I haven't seen Top Gun Maverick. That is a Peloton song. I knew the whistling. It's probably it's been on a Sam Yo ride, I'm sure. You're buzzing? Thank you. That one stings though. It stings a little bit. You whistled it? Yeah, after I heard the fucking tune. <laughs> this is a motherfucker talking into his yak back who's like, what the hell? The machine talks? It's merely capturing your human spirit and repeating it back to you, man. There was no creativity involved there. A spooky song from 2012. It must be um, Froggy Fresh. I am going home without my candy and my homie. If your soft is macaroni, I don't think she really knows me, homie. 2012, 1.1 billion views. Our Lady Peace. 2012, with a billion views? This shit's Gangnam style, man. It's the only option. <laughs> I don't know. Can I say it? I bet the song is not good, but the bass line's kind of serving something. It's kind of giving a little Kim deal. I really should know it. Don't know it yet though. Wait, wait, uh... Right. Give me more. Echo in the Bunnyman 2012 ass. This is my kingdom come. This is my yeah, yeah, yeah. Kingdom come. It's by Imagine Dragons. Demons? Demons. Kingdom come. Makes sense. 
It's where my demons hide. <laughs> Is that what he says? I thought it was, it's where my kingdom come. It's where my kingdom come. We're back. Our bandle streak has restarted. Oh, the misery. Every single demon is my enemy. He bandle dot app. It's a Halloween song from 1984. Is it just Ghostbusters, man? I mean, that's, that's a lot of songs right there. That's like, don't let me down. You got to be me going to my, my moon. Don't bring me down. Okay, but let's. Yes, it is Ghostbusters. Okay, it's that easy. All right. <laughs> I mean, we've gotten many bandles in zero. There's no, I, I mean, you ask me what Halloween songs are out there. There's like... There's less than five Halloween songs. It's like Thriller, Ghostbusters, and the Monster Mash. That's basically it. This sounds like a middle school band recital for sure. Let's see. A spooky song from 1978. If this shit ain't the Monster Mash, I don't know what it is, but uh, the Monster Mash may have come out any year from like 1947 to 1993, for all I know. That doesn't sound like the Monster Mash, man. Is maybe Time Warp from Rocky Horror Picture Show? It does kind of sound like Eye of the Tiger sped up a lot. Halloween, the, the movie theme song. John Carpenter, Halloween. All right. <laughs> I'd say I don't even recognize the drum beat at all. It's just contextual clues. You imagine how stressed out you would be if this was the hold music when you fucking called the... Uh, BCAA or something like that? You'd be like, oh, fuck. I'd like to speak to a human being, please. <laughs> please get it out of here. Thrice has a hockey question today. Uh, no, it doesn't. If you get 13 out of 15 and place in the top 1% of goaded, intelligent human beings on planet Earth, because you know that um, it's Memphis fucking interior design or whatever. What else do we play? VG. VG Bandel. I have no idea, but it sounds great. Mega Man X. Central Highway opening stage. Oh, I really thought I might have a chance. It kind of goes crazy. It kind of goes nutty. Until that part, but I have no idea what it is, man. I, that's not gonna help. It's from the Splatoon series of games, and it came out on the Wii U. I think it's Splatoon. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that it's Splatoon. Oh shit, Splatack? Yes! <laughs> It was not Calamar Calamari Incursion. We take those. 
And Splatoon is fucking 10 years old. That's crazy. I, I always think of Splatoon as like a very modern franchise. That shit is like older than half the chatters. This seems like the start of Party Rock Anthem, man. Two thousand nine. This sounds very familiar. It also sounds very ass. Am I crazy to think that this could be a Jonas Brothers song? I don't think it's Sucker. I'm pretty sure that came out in like 2017. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah, 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 okay. I don't know the name of this at all, but uh, obviously I've heard the melody. Dual speaker passion. Stereo love featuring Vika Jigulina. Do you think if you went back to like medieval Europe and you played this shit, it would still go platinum? Or is this like something that went wrong over the course of like the 20th century that led to this shit being birthed from this continent? Or if like if you went back to like the Roman Empire and you played this shit, would Julius Caesar be like banging his head or whatever? It's a dope song. I fucking... I wish it didn't exist. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. I hate all electronic music. You had to be there? I mean, I wasn't there. I was alive. I mean, I, w I wasn't in Berlin, I guess, when this song was popping off. I was in Kingston, Ontario, listening to Sunny Day Real Estate in Los Campesinos, going through a breakup. <laughs> so even more ass? Excuse me, Diary by Sunny Day Real Estate clears this shit any day of the week. I would rather listen to Party Rock Anthem. It's Peloton music, that's all I'm saying. Born in the USA. It's an, another one rides the bus. Whatever. <laughs> What's funny is when I said another one rides the bus, I was like, don't accidentally say the name of the Weird Owl one. And then I said it, but I thought it was the real one. <laughs> oh, man. The heck, why am I in Google Chrome? Take me to Firefox, man. 1988, 500 million views. That's kind of crazy. I have no idea. A, a lot of views from the 80s. I want to dance with somebody who loves me. It doesn't really sound like it, but you send, send something out there. Yes, I know this. This is, um... That time for myself. How can I get you alone? I don't think Hearts Alone would have that many views, but okay, we'll try again. And I always had time for myself. I never really got until I met you. It's not that, man? Okay, it's not that. Give me more. All I can hear is alone, man.
I'm sure I've heard it. It came out the same year I did. Hear your heartbeat. Li oh, listen to your heart. I always had time for myself. I never really cared until I met you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really know anything about Roxette, man. Sounds a lot like Alone by Heart, man. You also don't know anything about the lyrics to Alone? The only reason I know it is it must have been played on a Sam Yo classic rock ride that I've done like five times. Because I think the only time I've ever heard it is on the bike. I definitely know it has like a chorus. I never really cared until I met you. And then the end of the chorus is... How can I get you alone? It's also how I know every uh, Def Leppard song, unfortunately. You want a bandal today? Okay, if, if Magresta says bandal, then we bandal. It's that simple. It's a Friday. Is it, a, is it like a meme bandal? It's usually like a movie or something seasonal on Fridays, right? It's a movie from 1962. Is it Soul Bossa Nova from Austin Powers? Seven million views? Yes, yes it is. Brown. <laughs> 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 What did they get like real chimpanzees to do that part? I never really thought about it. But you gotta have that diddly 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 meow. That's an instrument? What what instrument is making this noise? Okay, give it a second. Wow. The Suica game? Okay, right here. That's not a that's not an instrument. That's Windex and a a chamois. They're cleaning the glass. Like Ben Wallace. Good day. 